There we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to more Trails to Azure. Last time, we, were we started investigating a train derailment. And we uh, tracked whatever it did to here. All right, Randy and I will descend first. Afterwards, Elliotio and Wazi will come down finally find the Noel. Understood. Roger that. Oh yeah, should we contact the commander for heading down? Yeah, good idea. Depending on the repair situation, they might be able to come help us. What you doing, Kiba? You look like you want to start messing with my laundry. <laughs> yeah, talking about you. Knox Woodlands. Kiba, no, oh, come on, really? Sorry about that, keep it still. My socks. Has your flowers? They were here two months ago. Looks like they started, blo like they started blooming recently. See how hard the elements, time, space, and mirage elements confirmed. Seems this was the strange presence I sensed earlier. I see. Looks like the difficulty of this place just climbed even higher, huh? Yeah, the place has a complex layout that's easy to get lost in to begin with. Let's proceed carefully and try not to get ambushed by monsters. Right. I should get the map for here, okay. I guess that makes things a bit easier for us. Now I'm scanning these guys, they are very weak to earth. And how's this do? Very nice. Hey. Andy. Of course, the plant weak to fire. Of course, it's really not that big a threat. It's be it. Ah, oh, dang it. Didn't even get a chance to try to go around. Ooh, weak to water, huh? Should go after him, Wazzy. Of course, you can't hit both. Dang it. That hits both, apparently, though. Well, okay then. Oh, I need a hit. Hi. 
<laughs> There's the jerk. Of course she missed on the freaking insta-death turn. I guess it does have an agility boost, but still. If I was the RNG screwing with me. I swear the vanished status element is one of the worst in this game. Not so much like what it actually does to you in combat, it's just how much of a pain in the ass it is since it wipes out your entire EP pool. Okay then. I think that means I killed enough enemies. Or got into enough fights, one of the two. To Mirage. I don't have very much HP though, so uh... Fire. <laughs> or she doesn't have fire, so she'll chaos brain then. <laughs> or she can't hit from there. <laughs> Thank you, auto dodge. I guess it works. I guess there was anything else up there, so we had to come down this way. I don't feel like we wouldn't be able to hit all of them, dang it. Bastards again. <laughs> so we didn't need Tio's cast there. Formation's good, like that one's kind of bad for the team attack. Oh! Like, what is with this weird path? It's for making a shortcut! Just an area we can't reach yet. And of course, we can't really reach it until we're basically done with the area. Dang it. Come on, they get a death blow turn. Oh, and Wazzy got freaking petrified. Oh, I wonder what that level up did for his skill. It 
doesn't really say anything different. Did like its AOE change, maybe? God. Well, I triggered that wrong. Okay, that was just mean. What the hell? Tio back. I was about to say, if he, that somehow actually hit him just to get the vanish off, I call shenanigans. <laughs> nice, I'm done with that. I think this is what I usually put on him. It actually keeps his really freaking high, uh... High, uh, space levels. It does get rid of all of his heals, though. But it also does get him a lot more time. And on top of that, since now he doesn't really have any... How do I put it? He lost his CP recovery abilities from accessories and all that stuff helping him out, so this will help cover that. At least when we're not going into boss fights, you know? I mean, you could see his CP meter is going up right now. <laughs> can't remember what you had to do to actually get Emblem. Oh, Andy. As there isn't some kind of bees attack you event. So they can miss. Also, that entire turn set was bull. Mirage and water, right? Really? Oh wait, wrong person. Ah, oh, damn it. I had to do that with Ellie, I guess. Yeah. Hm. I always love it when our turns are turn completely ineffective, right? Down here, there we go. Yep. Here's our mini boss, just. Oh, of course, it's oh, a whole lot of you guys. God, you guys suck.
Seriously, these kind of mechanics always suck when you're up against like 10 guys with the same effect. Since they basically have the power to just go, okay, you're not allowed to play the game anymore. God, really? Alright. They're freaking blind. Also, what the hell? Oh, there was another one. God. That Randy has maxed out his, and I think we're done with max mastering all my... Oh, wait, except for Mirage. Mirage still needs a couple levels, it looks like. Yeah, all the others are mastered. It forces like peak Randy, I swear. <laughs> Getting close to the end, so there should be a uh, recovery station soon. Oh, great, thanks, game. Really want that with her. already almost maxed out his CP again. Oh, I almost forgot. We got the Super Gladiator belt from my detective level last time. Guess who that's going on? Guess he can take one. There's so many open slots in my stuff for some reason. Probably be better. Air. And she can take. You have any other? Just where we got another variant of the of the Grail locket. Not. Oh well. Give her. Where was it? I. S yeah, here we go. Prevent seal mute. Came out into the open. Only came ready for training, but is there a dead end here? No, another animal trail continues ahead. Looks like fallen trees have blocked the path. Guess they fell about a month ago. But well, where did that monster go? I sense some kind of presence. <laughs> is that laughing? <laughs> This is... Built up, it's the culprit who manipulated the monster! No, not exactly. Wait, I feel like I've heard it before. Hey now, there's no way that... An ogre? This is... I don't believe it's the same as when someone demonizes with Gnosis. You... could you be... Bald, is that you? <laughs> if 
Bettings in Orlando. It's been quite a long time. And was it you're here too, huh? Yeah, that's right. Knew about your bad taste in fashion, but say what you like. Isn't this like going a bit too far? Zip it. Wait a moment. Then it was you who made the train derail? Why go to the trouble confirming something you already know? Is that the likes of those monsters could have done anything like that? Neither that I, Walt Wales, who has obtained a new power, could have done it. How dreadful. Not funny, you know. Now then, you've already chased me all the way here. Shall we get started already? I'll make you understand to the very core of your being just how superior I am. Seems you're serious. It doesn't matter if I'm serious against the likes of you. I'll at least patch you gently enough so you don't die. So be sure to enjoy it, okay? This is true power I've obtained. Okay, so... Wald. This is actually an unwinnable fight. He's also immune to basically all magic, even though it doesn't look like it for everybody to see here. And we need to do 25% of his HP. Okay, there we go. He's got, yeah, he's got 48,000, so we need to do about 12,000 damage. And we only have 10 turns to do it, so... Is week two... Uh, we don't have much, yeah. But we do have combination crafts. I don't really know which of them have the best one for this, though, honestly. Oh, wait, is this a magic type one? Ah, oh, crap. Yep. Beat him down, at least. That was not the best damage. He really is sweet, uh, not... Oh, he doesn't have his with her. Dang it. I thought it was timing everything right to try to set that up. I guess we actually aren't going to get, like, <laughs> maxed out, uh, uh, DP in this game since, you know, oh. Oh, okay. Feeling she couldn't reach. Say with our team, he's totally takeable right now. There it is. 
Well, that's just how it is. Oh, man, have it become a little too strong? After all we did to him, it had almost no effect. What's wrong, Wazzy? Why don't you try saying some usual bullshit with that pretty face of yours? You know, it just won't be any fun, don't you think? Wald, just where the heck did you get Gnosis? Ah, you mention it. Except for investigation samples, all of it manufactured by Dr. Joachim should have been destroyed. Damn you, where the hell did you get it? I wonder, don't misunderstand this power, is it just from the drug? The drug is just a trigger, this is a pure power born from my own self. Different from the sham power that Joachim obtained. Indeed, unlike Dr. Joachim, it seems he's not going berserk. Trigger aside, it means you mastered it, eh? What the? A monster? Morale! It's Second Lieutenant Morale! Thank goodness, the repair work is over, right? Yes, yeah, so, so we hurried here, but what's with that monster? I don't get why when I was looking up, well, looking at the DP stuff for this fight, it says the boss is immune to all magic attacks, when he clearly wasn't, what the heck? Is it because of a different version, maybe? I guess we'll end here for today, special support section, especially you, Wazzy. Let me have a little more fun next time we meet, will you? Like that chase bat we had downtown, right? Bastard. Wald! As if we'd let you go. All personnel, battle station, use of missile pods authorized. Yes, ma'am! Just when does the military ever work against the kaiju? Morning, the other cooperate with Morale's unit and search the dead woodland, but at the end they found no trace of the demonized Wald. That, uh, then, after giving up the search as the night went on, Boy and the others returned to the special support uh, section late that night, and without even the energy to eat the hot pot Kia had prepared, they slept like logs. How was it? No good. They don't know anything, it seems. Looks like no one's seen Wall for the past few days. Must be keeping his distance from his underlings. Maybe they're making fun of us, pretending not to know. They seem desperate. I see. We could ask the Testaments again, but it doesn't seem like anyone's seen Wall recently. Yes, even if he was dead drunk, you'd see him again before too long. See, it seems we don't know the background behind this at all. Where the hell did that guy get his hands on Gnosis? Ozzy, you okay? You look really pale. I'm probably cold because of the rain. For now, I'll ask Abbas and the others to gather some info. Let's set aside the matter of Wald and return to the support section. I agree. It looks like Kia was preparing breakfast for us. I feel like she's been helping us out more lately. Yeah, thanks for the food. Man, Hodgepodge is a cold body good. Indeed, those uh, there were eggs and chicken in it too. Thanks for the food, Kia. It was delicious. I just used ingredients from yesterday's hot pot. Wazzy, are you fool? Yeah, it was rich and delicious. Thanks for the food, Kia. I'm glad. <laughs> Finally back to your senses about Walt Whale's case. The CGF is continuing the search. Don't brood over it that much. You're right. However, it's certain Walt got his hands on Gnosis somehow. You gotta do whatever it takes to discover how. 
Section 2 is already investigating that. I also hear Section 1 is taking part in the investigations concerning those foreign powers. No, oh, don't be so impatient is what I'm trying to say. Right. In the end, they were able to fully repair the derailment site yesterday. Yeah, though yesterday evenings only one site could be used, but it seems they worked all through the night to fully restore service. And without any major consequences. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Transcontinental Railway is an important route. It was still offline, there'd be chaos, no doubt about it. If it did turn out like that, would have been even more material for Imperial and Republican arm twisting. Yeah, you said. So, should we check the support request? About time for them to come in today. Yes, let's. Phone drinking. Yeah, I'll take it. Yes, Crossbell Police, Special Support Section. Morning, it's Michelle, the Guild Receptionist. Ah, good morning. Do you have a look at our report on Ouroboros? Yes, to be perfectly honest, it was quite helpful. I contacted Lamont HQ and they're analyzing the information at present. Well, since they're a mysterious group, I honestly don't know how much they'll be able to do, though. I see. Uh, you called to tell us that? Ah, oh, no, that's not it. I'd like to ask you a little something. Did you happen to see Arling or Aeolia? Uh, we saw them yesterday at the hospital, but I see, that's right. Honestly, I wonder what those ladies are doing. You can't contact them? Yes, I haven't been able to contact their enigmas since last night. Well, it's not that unusual, so I'm not that worried about them. I see. Don't worry about it, you guys are busy too. That delinquent leader, was it? You must have it hard too, don't you? Yes, well, you happen to see either of those two, tell them to contact me immediately. Well then, do your best, alright. We will, thanks. Looks like that was from the guild, what's up? Ah, yes. Explain that the bracers Ling and Aeolia haven't been able to con haven't been able to be contacted ever since last night. Those bracers, they're uh, they're those two highly skilled ladies, right? Yeah, especially Aeolia. She's my type after Cecile. I don't think anyone cares about that. I'm a little worried. Seem to be keeping a tight schedule, right? Even when we fought them before, I felt they were calculating every single action. Oh yeah, time. Feel free to show up at the guild during work. We gotta support each other in times like these. Yes, I know. Well, right, guys, are you leaving already? Will Hopbot be okay today? Yeah, I'll be home earlier than usual today. Sorry, Kia. I think we went through the trouble of making it for us yesterday. We couldn't eat it. No, don't be. You're all doing your best, right? In that case, Kia wants to do her best to help you, too. Kia. She's got quite the destructive force, doesn't she? According to the weather forecast, it should stop raining this afternoon. Let's take care of work properly. Be back home quickly. Roger. Alrighty. Oh, we only have two new ones. Oh, I remember this one. McJagger has been spotted often along West Crossbell Highway because they're causing trouble for buses and visitors from the Empire. This needs to be dealt with swiftly. So if you cooperate for details, please come to the Belgar Gate parking lot. And a Geofront D Division monster, huh? Corner of the southern part of downtown. Alrighty. Oh yeah, we have to finish up the gourmet stuff too. Oh, whoops. And there's a few other side things we can do as well. Oh, and there's also a secret mission, of course. If we waited to today to do the, the gourmet thing, we would have lost out on all of the outdoor stalls. So it's, well, I mean, it's raining. Get another one of those kind of dick moves. Let's see. Where's Rishia? She's supposed to be around here somewhere. Wait, what? I didn't see her purple hair, did I? Oh, there she is. Hello, everyone. Hello, Rishia. Are you here for lunch today? Yes, right now I was chatting while having an after lunch dessert. You guys are those police, aren't you? I just was enjoying some girl talk with Rishia. Sorry about that. But being an artist privately isn't a chance you often get. Indeed, it's hard to figure out a famous person's friends. Don't say that, I'm still new. Shan Shan often takes me places on my days off when I just sit at home. We're the same age, so we get along pretty well, you know. Rishia's pro uh, proportions are cute. It's fun shopping for clothes for her. I don't want to be seen as cute, though. It's certainly true that there's not many of Rishia's size. Rich people's problems. 
Uh, you guys really are close. I'm really thankful to Shan Chan. When I lived in the Republic, I had to move repeatedly due to my father's work. I've had trouble making friends and have always been by myself. I see. Don't worry, Rishia. Now you're friends with me, you'll never be alone again. We'll always be together, Rishia. Thanks, Shan Chan. Looks like we're the third wheel here. Yeah, let's leave them be. Sorry, everyone. It seems I took up your valuable time. I'll speak with you. Well, speaking with you made a nice breather for us. See you. Yes, see you. Let's see, and we gotta go to Tangram Gate. Cause that's where our next Sunshine Agnes is. Go talk to the commander here. Wait, that's really more praise than I deserve. That's not true. Basic I mainly taught you crafts, but Lord, you're grown to a fine detective, haven't you? I'm deeply moved somehow. You too, Vice Commander. Really have a long way to go. Can't hold a candle my big brother yet. I can only do it because I have had uh, I have I have allies? That seems wrong. To fill that gap for me. <laughs> fine, the way you're going, I wonder how much you'll grow. Very much looking forward to seeing that. And Yep, we all like to read this book. Sunny Agnes 3. <laughs> Even I read novels. Commander, Sun, you recommend it to me, but as you know, I've gotten re uh, busy recently. Oh, it is, so you should enjoy it when you have time. Alrighty. Looks like we gotta do some of the side quests before the hidden ones really become available. No way, right? We don't actually park in the parking lot, we park to the side. She... There she is. Randy and the rest of the special support section. Good morning and thank you for coming. Lieutenant Morel, good morning. That was great work on the railway repair yesterday. Yes, I'm glad we managed it somehow, but in the end, we couldn't catch that giant monster's trail. I ordered our patrol units to look for it today as well, but I honestly don't know if they'll find it. Of course not, as I recall, we finally deal with the wall during like the final dungeon or something like that. Because of course, she's supposed to be like Wazi's ultimate challenge kind of thing. No, you did have to prioritize those repairs. Shouldn't you forget the monster for now and work, focus on your current work? Yes, you're probably right. We're here today about your support request. I know it's sudden, but could you tell us the details? Yes, understood. There's a problem with West Cross Bell Highway. Certain reckless dr recklessly driven cars have been showing up more often lately. That's a lot of trouble for buses and people traveling to and from the Empire. Well, as for your cooperation in putting a stop to it. Recklessly driven car. I feel like I've heard that somewhere. Could it be those young boys we caught before in the city? The high blood? Say that's likely. Yes, yeah, so and now that the security is in crossbows is seen as a lacking by the Empire Republic, if the accident involving foreigners occur, there'd be big trouble. Train derailment occurred just yesterday as it is. Indeed, crossbows seem to be in a precarious position. Also, in regards to this case, we're cooperating with the police's patrol division. Except in this case, if the recklessly driven car's route is often the highway. I see. How are we going to stop it specifically? They take West Crossbell Highway and double back at Belgard Gate. That's their route. You'll stand by at the gate. When appearance of the recklessly driven car is confirmed, you'll pursue it in your orbital car. Meantime, I'll call the patrol division and add them on standby at Crossbell City's west entrance. And I see a pincer attack then. That's precisely so. Can I count on you? Got it. Allow us to accept. Thanks. This is a big help. Then I'll contact the patrol division immediately to start the operation. Yes, please do. Let's prepare our orbital car too. All right. Noel, well, leave the driving to you. Roger that. No sign of the car just yet. Will it really come? I wonder. She said it's travel route bus cross the highway, bud. Not exactly why Kane and the others from the patrol division can't catch it. Police jurisdiction is generally inside Crossbell City. For that reason, the request came to us in a regular existence. That's probably something along those lines. Hey, whether it's inside or outside the city, we can't allow reckless driving. Nor catch the car no matter what. I'm counting on you. Oh, 
Could it be? Whoa, watch out, be careful, damn! Who you been standing by in the car? That's the high blood. I knew it. Guys, start pursuing it. Call the patrol division. Understood. Noel, leave the navigation to me and focus on driving. Yes, sir. Hey, what? Oh. Hey, I know I opened that chest. Look at these guys. Huh, let's scare them. Trying to bump us. Noel, the emergency brake. Right. We'll break this guy. Still, at this rate, we'll be able to catch him soon, right? Yeah, Noel, we'll keep at him. Pursue him. Wait at this rate. I'll leave it to you. Yes, sir. Tokyo Drift. You have poor road conditions in the rain. To think you take a curve at such a high speed. Isn't that a little dangerous? In this level of rain, it's a piece of cake. That reckless driver will never let them get away. Somehow you're really into this. Now let's continue the pursuit. Pretty good. Yeah, we keep going like this. The pincer attack of the patrol division on standby at the west gate could go well. Is that car acting weird somehow? The brakes are working? What? Looks like they're having some kind of trouble. What do we do? This could be a serious accident in some way. Well, increase speed and pass them. It's a bit dangerous, but let's stop them by using the car's body as a barrier. Roger! Are we alive? Thought it was a goner. Somehow they look fine. I think it's my fault because I made us pass in front of them. No, I'd much rather this be an accident than a disaster. They're the ones who got behind the wheel in the first place. I think they got what they deserved. Thankfully, we got through this without damage to our car. Well, she'll just be grateful they're alive. Hmm, they've got the devil's luck. Oh, whatever. For now, let's report to Lieutenant Morale in the patrol division. Hi, Blood's Residential Street residents. I'm taking you in for speeding and various other charges. Case closed for now. Good work, everyone. We were able to stop the recklessly driven car thanks to your help. Thanks for your cooperation, Lieutenant Rail. I think we were busy with tensions at the border, but allow me to express my gratitude. Likewise. On our end, we've reduced by one the elements the CGF is concerned about. Must thank the support section as well. No problem. By the way, Tio and Noel, how's their car? Brake failure has been tentatively identified as the cause, since it was simply a case of inadequate maintenance. Reggie, we left the main CU, didn't we? Hey, you imagine feel like I might have skipped out on that recently. It also appears that the Orbital engine was fully shorted out. I think it would cost a considerable amount to buy a new one for the repair. It's a waste, but I think there's no other choice but to declare it totaled. No way. And Yuri Wayne got Vern Co.'s latest model special for us. To me, one or two cars are cheap stuff. We'll just have to go to the Orbital store and get ourselves another one. That's our Yuri, you're so generous. Let's go buy it now. Wait, before that, you were clearly speaking. First of all, you receive a penalty and... Penalty, you say? She didn't be able to give any big penalty to us foreigners in her state law. It's gonna end with a fine just like the other day, right? And this ending again? Yeah, that's it. We're busy too. I bet it's gonna be a painting. It's all the way HQ. It's fine. I'll pay the fine here, right here. Got a problem with that? You were so smart. You guys, it's disgusting having to agree that they are right. No, that's not going to happen. Huh? After Uncle became the new mayor, Crossbell laws of underground constant reform. 
Heard some of the laws were amended just the other day. Accordingly, penalties for criminal act by foreigners have been strengthened. What did you? In this case, a one-month driver's license suspension applies. That's appropriate. Suspended for a month? That means even if we could bought a new car, we couldn't drive it? Maybe we really did go too far. Don't screw with me. Why do I have to get such a penalty? Do you that? think the lights of you state police have the right to judge me? That's right. No way likes of Crossbell police could judge us. Jury sakes, you know? Shut up, Reggie. They're trying to ruin our trip, you know? In this case, I'll have my dad put pressure on the state government. Give it a rest! The penalties for this incident are insignificant. Do you have any idea how many innocent people you frighten with your reckless driving? Do you even think about that? What's this all of a sudden? We don't give a damn, St. Commoner's God. Sierra's is just a mere horrible car. Then weren't you yourselves afraid? Turned out to be an accident, but without the support section's help, you could have died. It's true that when we plunged into the lake, I thought it was a goner. What are you saying? There's no way that could have happened to us. It doesn't matter who you are. Times when suddenly people have unconnected accidents or crimes are hurt by them. As police officers, I've seen such cases many times. Your reckless driving is giving some people those same fears. And were yourself not afraid? Continuing to cause trouble without even thinking of other people's feelings? Those of noble blood? What a joke! You should be ashamed of yourselves! Officer Kate. In any case, I'll take you to HQ. Reflect on your actions during your one month suspension. Come on, if you understand, just get in the car! Hey, Yuri Sykes. You yeah, honestly, this time we. Hey, Yuri, wait! Uh, looks like that took quite a toll on them. Yes, Officer Kate looked extraordinary angly, ang angly, angry. They're not used to being yelled at, so maybe this le they learned their lesson. Support section, Lieutenant Braille, thank you once again for your cooperation. Yeah, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, I had quite a bit of fun. Got to experience a car chase after all. Don't know if I would call it fun. Officer Kate, your words echo to my heart as well. Let's both do our best to protect Crossbell. Yes, then I'll excuse myself. Then I'll deliver their orbital car to the appropriate location. Would you all care to join me? Well, we've come this far, so allow us to come with you. And the others help the CGF haul the recklessly driven car. Afterwards, they resume their activities at Belgar Gate. Well, that's another side story uh, wrapped up. So, the entrance to these sectors over here. What? Yeah, there it is. So, this is the entrance to Geo Front D Division where the wanted monster in the extermination request appeared, huh? It's closed off for the longest time, but it seems it's been open due to the request. There's one small problem, though. Why is there a geofront entrance in downtown that's not connected to the orbital net? Yeah, no, you mentioned it. Wasn't downtown left behind by the city development? Yes, before Congress people and government officials say construction would occur in D Division, but the construction progressed underground and it finally reached this place. Non existent demand was fabricated and construction proceeded haphazardly. Oh, I see. In other words, the product of government waste. You're telling me. Seems things have improved since Dieter became mayor. Alright, if we're taking down that wanted monster, let's head inside already. Oh, dang. <laughs> Smash my face into the wall and not the door. Came out to a friggin' big place, huh? Shocked to see when we descended Orca's Tower during the trade conference incident, but... Looks like we're pretty far from there, though. It's hard to believe such a large area was constructed even under downtown. Who knows how much Mira it took to get all the way here from Orca's Tower's basement. According to what I've heard, D Division was constructed as an underground parking lot. As you can see, there's not a single car to be found. Right, even in the Republic, where horrible cars are popular, there would be no need for a place like this. Yeah, if there was a parking lot beneath downtown, I question how many people would actually use it. I think any number of things about it, but in any case, we have to go exterminate that wanted monster. Try proceeding further inside. Wait. I think it's the exact same enemies from before. Yeah, looks like it.
There we go. Oh my gosh, they're only worth 4 XP. I'm pretty sure we're just going to be skipping these guys for the... Oh. We have to like hit all of the switches first or something. There's a fancy chest in there and Okay, why is that room back there blocked off by a spell circle? That's just a wee bit suspicious, isn't it? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to actually fight this one. Oh, dang it. I messed up the order there. Still worked out, but... No one's gonna comment on this? Uh, we just need a uh, Noah Zero if we're done here. And the round no wasn't even needed. <laughs> oh, I hit three. When you want to build some spice. It ran away from us. Oh wait, that one doesn't run. Maybe it's a slightly higher level encounter than the other ones. Had a feeling. Of course that was our ultimate goal. Dang it. Guys ain't much of a threat anymore. Wrong one. Didn't lead to the boss? Oh. Well, we remember this place, they even give a special camera angle for it. There it is. They're weak to fire. I don't have that much HP. Dodge tank, bitch! Oh, 
までと。Yes, then the one that's being really annoying right now. Uh, I can't draw him off. Yeah, should be fine. There we go. Oh, nice. I learned smart missiles. Well then. Oh, hey there, Link. And yeah, that pretty much was that. What that was. Oh, here's their combo. Looks like Tio and Wazi can handle this one. Wazi, are you okay with this? Yeah, that's right. Now they got Sigma Ascension. Big area with some burn. I ruined the best level. A 69, am I right? Her hurt. I don't think this game even has a keep your party under X level challenge like the previous one did. Oh boy, apparently we have a mini game side quest coming up. And apparently you only get one chance, so uh yeah. It's a special support section. We're closed today, but did you need something? Uh no, we're just stopping by. The opening of the renewal performance, it's finally tomorrow. Are you resting today in preparation for that? Yes, exactly. There's still one person practicing today, though. Wow, how devoted could they be? Yeah, you understand correctly. Yes, it's Soli. Tomorrow is her big moment, after all. It seems that she can't calm down if she's not moving her body. No light, please go watch her practicing. Are you sure? Yes, of course. If it is all uh, you all who have helped us countless times, none of us here at Arkan Seal would have any problem with that. On top of that, it seems she's been at it ho uh, since morning with hardly any breaks. If you like, please go speak with her. I think you would make a nice break for her. I see you understood. Thank you for your kindness. Yeah, there's actually an achievement in this one for getting ev well, all the original characters up to level 120. Looks like she's really going at it. Yes, just as the manager said. Just look at her, she's amazing. So that's the new scene she's practicing, huh? She said it was a pretty important role, but... Star Princess, right? Heard she has a big C in the second half. Looks like she's ready for it. Yeah, but the pressure must be incredible. Let's excuse ourselves before we get in her way. Ah, uh, you guys. Whoops. Looks like we were noticed. Damn, we gotta at least say hello. Hey, Sully. <laughs> Whatever. So, did you need something? No, we were passing by and just wanted to see what you were up to. Yeah, sorry for interrupting you. I don't think of taking a break anyway. It's fine, really. But this is the first time I've seen you perform. You've already mastered it. No one would think you're a beginner. Really? Yes, really. Honestly, I'm surprised. Yeah, it's like you're not wasting a single movement. You must be pretty close to perfecting it, no? Huh. Yeah, yeah, and that costume looks really good on you. Sully? Hey, you. Want to join me for performance training? I uh, say, there's something I want your opinion on. You want Loy to join your training? Why me? What could this be about? I'm just a layman. I don't know anything about the performing arts. I'm telling you it's nothing too difficult. Just something I was thinking of, see? So how about it? Are you joining me? Right. Sure, if you're okay with that. Are you sure it's no big deal? Yeah, got it. That allow me to ex explain immediately. Take this first. See the whistle. This is a whistle? What do I do with this? 
Starting now, I'll perform as if it were the real thing. During my performance, I want you to blow that whistle on the landing of each of my jumps. If you don't know how it goes, you should be able to follow my movement with your eyes. I see the landings. Wait, are you okay with just that? Yeah, it's simple, but really important. In our conceal, performance jumps are essential to say the least. Landing in particular is an important base action, which leads into all other movements. The whistle is the cue to raise awareness. So that's why you'll never blow with an odd timing, okay? That'll confuse me instead. Got it. I'll be careful. So, explanation's over. You ready to begin immediately? I'm ready when you are. And... yeah. Save state! Oh, come on, I swear I'm hitting it. I swear he hit it there! But basically the same timing as before. Come on! Oh, what? Say so stay closer to the start. Oh, what? Oh, what? I swear I'm hitting you when her feet touch the ground. Is there some kind of delay I'm not aware of? No? What? What? Why can't I get the second jump anymore? Come on. I kind of got that. Seems like a good spot. Just in case I flub it on the last one. Okay. I guess it took form somehow. That was for the form, you were great. Yes, you really should have more confidence. Thanks. And so to think you match my movements perfectly, you're good. Thanks to you, I was able to quite sense the connections. It turned into a pretty solid training. If you're saying that much, I guess it was most satisfactory. I'm just glad I could help. So here's the main question. You saw my acting, so how was it? Uh, well, what can I say? I thought it was simply great. I think you can make a performance of that level your own. I'm sorry, I guess an amateur like me can't really say anything more sensible than this. I see. So, about what you told me in the beginning, that my acting has no waste of movements. You tell me in detail about it? Did I say something like that? Well, I didn't mean it in a bad way at all. Actually, Ilya said the same thing once. Huh? There's no waste of movements in your acting. Your acting is serious. Also, she told me to enjoy it more. To enjoy it, huh? Ilya told you that. In that sense, there's no big problem in practice. If I had to say, couldn't it be all in your head? What, in my head? I don't get it at all. So in this parade, I'm sure tomorrow's performance won't go well. Sully. Say, Sully, there's something I'd like to know. What do you think about during performance training? Huh? Ain't it obvious? I'm thinking I want to get better. No, it's a bit different. I think I want to perform like Ilya and Rishia. I want it to feel like it did when I saw them perform for the first time. How can I say it? Like grabbing their hearts? Sully, that's a rather direct way of putting it. 
I didn't intend to. I see, then what about these questions? What do you think when you act on the Ark and Seal stage? What do you think about the audience that has come to the theater to see your performance? The audience? Oh, the audience, huh? I they learned there's all kinds of guys in the city, but... Even so, I can't really like those who haven't realized how fortunate they are. I won't say our entire audience is like that, but most of them are, so... So, you can't think it's a good thing for them to see your performance? Basically, you're saying you can't simply enjoy acting? Well, that's just how I feel. I try to think about it, but I get creeped out when I think I'm acting for their sakes. Is that wrong? I mean, these feelings have nothing to do with my acting, right? I want to know more specifically where and how I made mistakes. Feelings and acting are not related, huh? I wonder if that's really true. Even if you say that, what specifically should I do? I'm not sure how to put it, but... In that case, Sully, ignore the audience in front of you. Yoo-hoo, guys! Ilya! Wait, how long have you been there? Hmm, I just got there, though. So, so you say you hate our audience? Is that so wrong? No, it actually isn't. There are customers even I hate to varying degrees. However, I can't very well let each and every one of them get to me, now can I? I know that already. I'm doing my best not be bothered by them. Hmm, in your case, your way of thinking... Uh, your way of thinking the problem? What? Listen, you're far too concerned with what's in front of you. Say, Sully, do you know what an audience refers to? Yeah, it's the people who come to the theater, those who pay for a ticket. Well, you're not wrong, but there's something more important. Your audience isn't just those who come to the theater. The people who are interested in our performances, all of them are our audience. All the people who are interested? Right, even the people who only saw our troop and magazines, and even those who have only heard of us. You could say all the people who take an interest in us, no matter the form, are our audience. You know that too, right? You came to Crossbell, heard rumors about Ark and Seal. You stuck into the theater, saw our performance, and felt something, right? Well, I won't praise you for sneaking in, though. Even so, at the time, there's no doubt that you were a splendid customer. I who snuck in was a splendid customer? That's right, so don't be so fixated on the audience in front of you. After all, it's like we're performing for all the people of the continent. Everyone on the continent? It's true, isn't it? I can't say the name of Arkansas spread throughout the continent yet, but even so, through performance, you of Northambrian and I of Crossbell Crossbellian origins connected. Maybe you think our meeting was coincidence, but I don't think so. I would consider, don't you think expressing yourself through performance is fascinating and fun? Oh, well, take your time and think carefully about it. That aside, you didn't even have breakfast this morning, did you? There's a lunchbox in the dressing room for you, so go finish that now. Lunchbox? I don't really want it. Nope, I've told you many times our bodies are our capital. Training is on hold until you've eaten. Annoying as always, alright, I'll be back after I eat it. What can I say? That was a really good scene. Yeah, silly as words penetrate my heart and soul. Also, well, you felt like a mom. Right, thanks to her, it's never boring around here. I should thank you guys too. After all, I was able to listen to that girl's worries. By any chance, did you watch everything from the start? Yes, perfectly from the shadows of the auditorium. I talk about a lot of different things with that girl, but I don't actually get many chances like this one to hear what she really feels. Really grateful to you, little bro. Nah, don't say that. I couldn't give her any advice either. Ilya, yeah, finish eating. A frightening speed, Sully. And I always tell you to chew before swallowing. Oh, fine. Alright, we're continuing the training for the scene where the Star Princess appears. I won't go easy on you, you hear? Yeah, bring it! Sully looks fired up somehow. Maybe she broke through a little? Hope so. Well, let's excuse ourselves for now. Oh yes, Sully, please do your best with tomorrow's performance. Sure. Of course, see you little bro, guys. And there's another hidden... Oh wait, I don't think we can actually do the hidden one. It might be a Vita only one. Guess we'll see if... Uh... Oh wait, wrong room. If Sonya has the mission for us. I did an achievement yesterday, huh? Do you mean yesterday at the accident scene? I had hurried the repairs, then the cause of the accident would still be unknown. You could have destroyed evidence needed to reach the truth with my own hands. I was too impatient. 
Something about the CGS position I think is understandable. Yeah, and also repairs were completely uh, completed quickly afterwards. Nothing to be sorry for. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you say that. Let me thank you again. Uh, nope. Okay, so yeah, we can't get this hidden mission. Alright, so let's go turn our missions in and go to the... Uh, go to the guild. Oh, wait, no, we didn't finish up. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. We need to go to Ursula's. Duh. Oh, and we didn't feed the... Wait, can we feed the cat? No, the cat's not here. Oh, you guys, seems you didn't forget and came. Almost dead. That means, yeah, my recommended dish, three day stew, is finally ready. Want to eat it right away? Yes, by all means. Then wait a moment, I'll prepare a portion for each of you. I mean, the others ate the three day stew. Delicious! Yeah, it's super thick and the taste is absurdly rich. It was worth the wait. Yes, really, it might be the first time I've ever had such a delicious stew. Armed your body's full of nutrients, I think it's really good for you. It seems like even sick people will recover in an instant if you just ate this. Well, you look happy. You're exaggerating. Seems Ellie liked it a lot. I think we can leave this place's article to her. That's right, Ellie, can I count on you? Yes, I would love to. Please leave it to me. Thus, we found all six member favorites. We got plenty of coverage with this. Let's head to the news agency right away and report. Pretty uh, true. Yeah, it's waterfront, and that's where it is. Good work, everyone. Looks like you've got six different places for the government gourmet guide coverage. Ready to report to Grace? Understood. I'll call Grace for you. Please wait for her on the second floor. You say that, but we go to her desk. Hi, and nice works. How did collecting your gourmet recommendations go? Well, we had a lot of fun. I'm tired. All oh, those places are so far apart. Well, I'm glad you had your flow of delicious food. All right, then show me what you got. Yes, well, well, there's still grace about the establishments they visited. So you went to 11 places in all, did you? That looks like very thorough coverage. <laughs> I'm so happy. Next among them, tell me your gourmet recommendations. Mine was the Chef Omelette Rice from Ash Tree Inn in Amarika Village. Simple flavor characteristic of Amarika touched on my heartstrings. See, that omelette rice is indeed something you can only taste there. Mine was Three Day Stew from Le Recouche? I have no idea how to pronounce that. Buffet at St. Nurse of the Hospital. It's oily due to being cooked for a long time and good for you on top of that. Ah yes, eating that stew will recover your energy in an instant. I recommend Shaved Ice Seven Colors from the Ice Cream Stand in Entertainment District. It has an interesting mouthfeel and the taste of its seven colors. It's a masterpiece that defies simple explanation. Oh, that's high praise coming from you, Tia. I'm sure it will be very popular now. For me, it's the Heavenly Noodle Sun at the Waterfront Area Noodle Stand. A combination of firm curly noodles and salty soup. Just remember it. Its flavor made me drool. As I see, I often go there for lunch. That's a total masterpiece. Mine is peerless fried rice from the old dragon on East Street. Once I tasted it simply yet the flavor, I couldn't get enough. That's Jean Cui's specialty. Mm, I think I want to eat there again. My recommendation is the Rich Sea Hot Pot from the Tangram Gate Cafeteria. It tastes good and everyone can enjoy it together. I can't think of anything better. The Border Gate Cafeteers are hitting gourmet spots indeed. <laughs> you really know your stuff, Wazzy. That's about it. Yeah, it looks like each of your members found a gourmet recommendation for me. This will improve the gourmet guide feature page a lot. Thank you, guys. We should be thanking you. Was well, worth it going to all those places, huh? Whoops, your work's not done yet. Gotta have each of you write up an introduction comment. Now, Lloyd and the others had difficulty with the writing because they weren't accustomed to it. 
Somehow the gourmet recommendation article for the gourmet guide was completed. I think that should do it. We'll get proof this ourselves later. It's okay for now. I think we'll be able to make an interesting gourmet guide thanks to all of you. That was really tough. Then the request is complete. Yes, thanks for your help, guys. It'll take a little more time to publish the gourmet guide. Please look forward to it. I'll be sure to let you guys know if I need anything else. Thanks, excuse us then. You want the rainbow ice cream? <laughs> Not just rainbow ice cream, it also had like pop rocks uh, hidden in it too. Let's see. What's going on? Yeah, that's right, it was her and uh, Randy that I haven't finished with the ornaments yet. To East Street, then. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's you guys. Good to see you, Michelle. We're a little worried about what we heard. I didn't want to do it, but our need is urgent. Thank you. I'm so glad you came. Then you haven't been able to contact Ling or Eolia next, uh, right? That's right. Arios and the others split up and are looking for them, but, I mean, seriously, what do they think they're doing? That is rather concerning. They can't be reached via Enigma. Does it mean they're outside the state? I was thinking that too, honey, but there's no record of them having used the station or airport. No proof of them passing through Tangram or Belgar gates. It is really strange. If Ling and Aeolia are inside the state, I might be able to locate them somehow. Really? Uh, how exactly? I think functions left over from the development stage are still present in Enigma 2 units. One of them is to transmit an alert signal in emergencies. Huh? Really? Let's configure to use res uh, reserve orbital energy to transmit orbital waves of a specific frequency at fixed intervals. But the orbital wave is very weak. I've never heard of practical application for it. But that function was n wasn't ever cut. It should still be there even in production models. Then if we could somehow catch that faint orbital wave... We'd have a fix on Ling and Aeolia's location. I think it's worth a try. Chief Roberts is familiar with the function. Let's head to IBC. He should be willing to assist us. Understood, let's go. I'm sorry, and thank you for helping them. Please contact us as soon as you learn anything. If the situation warrants it, I'll recall Arios and the others. Roger. Shall we head to IBC then? Oh, wait, oh. I think this is when we go to the marsh. Ah, oh, crap. I remember the boss fight involved in that one. Oh god, it's another kind of like walled fight. Just winning it is achievement worthy. Now oh, that Wonder Chief Roberts is here. Probably on the Foundation's floor. I'll contact him via Enigma. I think we should be able to do it since we have the dodge tank set up on, uh, on Lloyd. Without a doubt, you're kind of boned. Hello, it's Tia. No, I have no particular intention of doing that. You're persistent, Chief. Knock it off already. They're the same as always. I wish Tia would go a little easier on him, though. Conversely, maybe that old man likes being treated coldly like that. Yes, it's about the Enigma 2 emergency alert function. Yes, that's right. Yes, please come down. Will he, will he help us? Yes, he keeps coming down right away. He said Yona's with him. Oh? Wasn't he the one whose room in the Geo front got blown up? The genius hacker from the Epstein Foundation, right? Yeah, he's an impertinent brat of questionable value. Isn't he causing trouble now that he's back in the Foundation office? Yeah, it seems they were reluctant to take him back. <laughs> See, so that's the situation. Neural power's cut and we can't contact them, right? But bracers are strong, can't we leave them alone? Now look here, Yona. Give me a break. You can't say things like that, okay? 
You know, it's been like this a lot lately, even though I prepared the most high-tech terminal in the building for him. No matter how high the processing power can never be satisfied with a limited system, give me the security code and set me free already! You know, I can't do that, Yoda. If we did, you'd just do whatever you wanted again, right? In exchange, I prepared a special palm training program so you can beat Tio. I don't need your help! Looks like he's doing a good job supervising Yona. Well, his irritability aside, he is quite capable. Now that aside, the Enigma 2 has an alert function, but it might not be that useful. Really? But it really does have that function. Yes, but trouble wave is weak and it's almost impossible to detect. Unless you're within 10 cells, you'd never be able to detect it, no matter what you're using. 10 cells. That kind of range is difficult to work with. If they were in Crossbell City, we know that already. What if you combine that instrument with my sensors? If you need a matrix transformation system, Aeon can help with that. In that case, no, that won't work. If you operate the sensor with Aeon, the accuracy would become unstable. There's the horrible pressure problem too, and you need to consider the surrounding terrain. I think it'd be quite difficult. I see. Don't quite understand what's so bad about it, but it seems like a technical problem. If that's the case, wouldn't it be better to measure from the Orcus Tower roof? Huh? Yona? What do you mean? The horrible alert wave is weak, so you can't detect it unless your instrument is nearby. Having said that, if you use TO sensors together with the instrument, the output is insufficient, so accuracy suffers. But on top of Orcus Tower, there are no obstructions, so accuracy will be raised. High output is practically guaranteed. Cryptic as always, but what do you think, Tio? I'm surprised. You've done it, Yona. I'm amazed at your abilities as a systems engineer, Yona. Well, I guess I'm just that great after all. Well then, seems like things are looking up then. Yes, it might work. I'll contact the Orcus Tower Management Department immediately and ask for permission to use the roof. You'll help, won't you, Yoda? Why should I? It's what I want to say, but, well, I'm bored, so I guess I'll help. But you guys, I'll do one exchange... Oh, uh, do one thing for me and... Oh, you guys will do one thing in exchange for me, all right. Got it. We'll do whatever you ask, as long as it's not unreasonable. Chief Roberts and Yona got permission to use the Yorkist Tower roof and went there in advance with their equipment. Seems the preparation for the detection would take some time. Only the other side to head for the Orcus Tower roof after finishing their other business. Let's do Orcus Tower. They get stuck on NPCs. Hey, where are you guys? You just finished preparing our equipment. Just arrived at the tower entrance. Should we just head up to the roof? Yeah, if you ask the receptions, they'll give you an elevator access card. So get up here already. Understood. Thank you for your hard work. Looks like he's ready. Now speak to the receptions for an access card and then head to the roof. It's raining, so we shouldn't make them wait too long. Welcome to Orcus Tower. Ah, your special support section, right? As we issue us an authentication card, here you go! Put that card in elevator panel and it will take you directly to the 40th floor, uh, top floor. It is valid for only a month and disposable, so please dispose of it when you're finished. Roger that! That's kind of amazing! Yeah, it's even more advanced than the IBC building. The building itself is basically just a giant mass of the latest tech, right? Uh, you have to use a specific one, apparently. Where it goes? It's like the other. We really need a seat of them just putting the card in the slot. Well, kind to think of it. There's something about this panel. It doesn't look like there are buttons for the 21st through 30th floor. Well, those must all be maintenance floors. Maintenance floors? Well, those floors are mostly empty. It's necessary to maintain this huge tower's weight balance. Apart from that, it seems there is equipment there to absorb the shock of potential earthquakes. Oh, I remember what those floors are for. That's pretty amazing. Seems like the latest building technologies are all there. It's also a dungeon in Cold Steel 4. Seriously though, was it really necessary to make it this big? You can make it 30 stories and still add the same number of floors. Now I'm sure many changes were made from the initial design. Uncle likes, uh, took over the design, also likes flashy things. In the end, the Croy family made up for the construction budget shortfall personally. Wow, how magnanimous of him. Well, thanks to him, the towers had a huge impact as Crossbell City's newest landmark, but... Oh, it looks like we're there. And 
Doesn't look like there's any of those car bugs here. Looks like the rain lit up a little. Yeah, and the view is just as awesome as it ever was. Yeah, it's even better on a clear day, though. I wonder where Yuna and the Chief are. Probably on a corner of the roof. Let's look for them. Uh, they don't look like they're up there. They don't look like they're up top. Oh, here we go. Hey, we've been waiting! Of course, they don't have umbrellas. So is this the equipment for detecting the alert signal, huh? Yes, but but as it is now, it can only send signals within 10 cells radius. That's where Tio comes in. No problems here, but will it be okay with the effect of the rain? It's just light rain. I don't think there will be much effect. But I cannot bring myself to expose my precious Tio to the wind and rain. That's right. How about I hold my umbrella over while you start up your sensors? I'm fine. On the contrary, that will be distracting. Ugh. All right. Ready on my end. Ready for Aeon startup anytime. Then let's begin. Have you input Ling and Alias Enigma 2 serial number? Yeah, I got them from the guild. I've already input them into that instrument. Roger. Good luck, Tio. Please try to locate Ling and uh, Aeolia for us. I will. Here I go. Aeon system. Kido. Linking matrix system with the instrument. Link confirmed. This rate looks like there will be no problem. Orbital power to the instrument stable at high output. Do if you please. Roger, here I go. Oh, that was... Looked like some kind of wave was sent out. Hmm. Yes, yes, looks like a success. Really? You know the location of Ling and Aeolia? It'll be accurate. It's the location... Uh, actually, the location. They're Enigma 2 units. Since the two alert signals too far to the south of here, right? Analyzing now uh, obtained data and displaying a map. There, it's done! Huh? This is the south side of Elm Lake? What in the world? Is there even anything there? It's a marshy area untouched by human hands as far as I know, but... Those bracer ladies are in a place like that, huh? Don't really get it, but it's not normal, right? Hmm, this is concerning. Lloyd. For now, let's report this to Michelle. Just in case, we should ask HQ to prepare a boat for us. Right. I agree. Considering the situation, we've got to hurry. Thank you for your cooperation, Chief, Roberts, and Yona. Don't match it. You can leave the cleanup to us. Yeah, well, well, be careful, at least. Our old boat is ready for you, wa uh, Waterfront Area Wharf. You can board right away. They're right. Thanks, Fran. Sorry for requesting something like that all of a sudden. Don't mention it. I'm here to support all of you in a time like this. But the marshlands to the south, huh? Be very, very careful, okay? Sure, we'll keep that in mind. Seems like we were able to secure a boat. Yeah, I asked Fran to get one for us ASAP. Uh, it seems like I'm going to be relaying on you guys to the bitter end this time. Are you sure you're okay with this? I think Ario's Seenoge will be back here within the hour. That's too long. It's best we go there ahead of them. That's right, we don't even know what the situation is over there either. Well, once they're back, tell them to follow us, okay? Understood. But Ling and Aeolia are uh, capable bracers who are nearly A rank. They're in, both in a situation where they can't contact us. I have no idea what it could be. Be extremely careful, everyone. Right. We'll head for the wharf once we're ready. I certainly don't know what song Mystic Core is you're referring to off the top of my head. Oh, before we do that, we need to go back to Orcus Tower. We gotta go find Yona. There he is. Yeah, you guys have a palm count, right? <laughs> Since I'm here, I think I'll, get, I'll gift you with Master Yona's account. Think you can win against me? He's been involved since the development stage. Just go ahead and try. Oh, joy. I think it's the second to last one. And we also want to go visit Fran. Oh, whoops. Okay, over here. 
Everyone, like I told you before, I've readied an orbital boat for you at the waterfront area jetty. Yeah, thanks, Fran. We'll use it right away. Hello, Starlight. How are you doing? Oh, that's the song you're referring to. Here's you're going to the marshlands to look for those bracers, but um, will you be all right? It's the place where two bracers who were nearly A rank went missing. Fran. Sorry to make you worry. That'd be nice if even I could do something in times like these. If you want, could you like to take Ban Ban with you as a charm? If I remember correctly, Ban Ban is it's a pl bear plushie. You, when you hug it, it greatly calms you. Big Sis, you do it too sometimes when no one's watching, right? Oh, I'd never do that. I feel an overwhelmingly sorrow sending, uh, overwhelming sorrow sending Ban Ban to such a dangerous place. But for your sake, everyone, don't know we're fine for now. Please calm down. <laughs> but thanks for the thought, though. I was feeling a little uneasy, but thanks to you now, I feel relaxed somehow. This is where Fran shines. We were also able to catch a glimpse of Noel's private life. Oh, that Fran, I'll remember this. I'm glad then. Please be careful when going there, everyone. Right. How are you doing, Starlight? There's a full-on musical for Cold Steel. Oh god. Uh, this must be our boat. Yeah, your special support section, right? Yes, thanks for your hard work in this rain. Thanks for getting this ready for us. No, no, it's my job, you see. Oh yeah, are you alright operating it? I can operate for you if necessary, you know? Right, forgot about that. No, if you could drive a car, I don't think you'd have much trouble with this. Can we contact Chief? No, it's fine. I have experience operating this kind of boat, you see. Really? That's our Noel. Looks like cars and boats aren't all that different, huh? This too is thanks to Commander Sonia's training. So, what do we do? Is it time to board? I have no idea what's out there. Also, I wonder if we've left anything undone here. We have not. I've done all the side quests. It's who, boy? Shit's about to get real. Well then, be careful out there. As I recall, this event does not just end with what we do at the marsh. What an interesting coincidence. Considering the Schwartz auction, it seems they really are connected. Master Sal, just what is on the south side of Elm Lake? Well, must rely on his intuition in this case. The snake that demonized the delinquent leader and the church that intervened. I don't think it's anything more than eliminating a few blind spots, though. Indeed. Excuse me! Pan, are you okay? Terribly sorry. You see, a moment ago I received an unbelievable report from our surveillance team. An unbelievable report? Pan, please tell us the details. Oh boy, remember what that leads to, and it's nothing good. It cleared up this afternoon, just as forecasted. Might be Idios' guidance. Honestly, we have no idea what kind of danger is waiting for us. It is kind of weird just, like, how many games actually get, like, stage musicals and stuff like that. Like, the, like, near Automata's got, like, two or three? Something like that? <laughs> That's definitely better than an investigation in the rain. It's possible that it's encrypted or possibly... Honestly, anything is possible given the current situation. I don't know when Aris' team is getting here either. At the Vanguard team, we need to do everything we can to guarantee Ling and Aeolia's safety. Depending on the situation, we might even need to call the CGF for backup. Right. Ling and Aeolia, hope they're all right. This is sudden increase in immunity confirmed. Be careful. What? This is fog? But it was clear just a moment ago. Lloyd, what do we do? Reduce speed and proceed with caution. Teal, can you sense the approaching shore? Yes, I think so. If it's going to be like this, we need to be ready for anything. Animes aren't as surprising as a uh, stage musical. I mean, anime is a fairly common like, and well-known medium for... How do I put it? For games that already have they, that aesthetic, it really lends itself to having an anime kind of a thing. 
I mean, like, the Persona games, they already have, like, their own anime openings to them. So, them actually getting a full-on one isn't that surprising, but a stage musical? That counts on, like, so many other things to do. That's... looks like the boat Ling and Aeolia came here on. No way to think things would turn out like this. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right! Arknight's anime is starting up tomorrow. That should be interesting. Hey now, are we having a dream? It really seems like we're inside a fairy tale. Unbelievable, it looks like the composition of space itself is different from reality. But Aroma Grass, it's when has this much been here? Uh, uh, that's right, what uh, Yoakim was harvesting as a Gnosis ingredient was. Well, if you think about it, this must be the place. What? Oh, you're that! Yin, why are you here? <laughs> that's my line, the shadow of the snake and the demonization of the delinquent's leader. As your flowers starting to bloom all over the place and the appearance of mysterious cryptids, I think I've run into you all as I was following those signs. Wow! You mean this, you uh, you mean you guessed that this place was suspiciously keen to investigate? Precisely. Here's your situation is a bit different, correct? Yes. Circumstances being what they are, allow me to explain. I don't know. I don't think Rishia would really fit as a killer in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> The events since Ling and Aeolia went missing. I see, so that boat belongs to the Bracers. I see, them being the case, it appears I'm getting closer to the core. The core? Why, the azure flowers by Pleroma Grass has begun to bloom all over Crossbell and cryptids have begun to appear. What meaning does that have for Crossbell? That's the core, isn't it? Precisely. This is part of my contract with Heiyue as well. I'll leave the Bracer to you and go on ahead. No. Yin, why don't you come with us? Lloyd? Hey now, you serious? I had a feeling you'd say something like that, just as I predicted. Man, times like these, I want to say you're a little too flexible or something. <laughs> Bannings, aren't you misunderstanding something? Our positions differ to begin with, and so do our interests. Unlike that time of the hospital, cooperating with you would bring me nothing. That's what you're going to say, right? Ling and Aeoli are so skilled as to have almost reached A rank. When they join forces, the skill they possess would even be a match for Arios. There's danger great enough to cut off their contact with the outside world waiting for us here. Can you really say you'll be fine by yourself? Well, it is an emergency situation. Ling and Aeolia are safe. You might be able to learn something. Even from the standpoint of efficiency, you should be able to cooperate with us. The special support section it appears you've taken quite a lot of inspiration from your leader, eh? Perhaps? Eh, well, I can't deny it either. It was slightly unintentional, though. Hey, why is all this my fault? To Lloyd and Ellie slash Dio as survivors. I don't think they would fit. I'm pretty sure if uh, Lloyd was up against the killers, he would just rush them down and just start beating the shit out of them with his giant ass tompas. And, well, I mean, Tio is my freaking magical goddess of death. And Ellie's got the revive everybody kind of abilities. Oh, really? What are the release dates? This is one of your virtues too, isn't it? Very well, we'll temporarily join forces once again. However, when the Divine Blade of Wind catches up with us, I'll leave. Is that alright? Yeah, understood. But with this many, our maneuverability is going to be limited. We'll be helpless if monsters attack. Yeah, then we should leave someone here alone. We may need someone to watch the boat. Well, why not? They could get in touch with the Divine Blade of Wind when he arrives. Yeah, let me think about the formation. I'm ditching Noel. <laughs> Still haven't repaid them for the move they taught me. Must find Ling and Aeolia at all costs and confirm their safety. Oh! Man! The game really want, uh, really declares that Wazi, Noel, or the extras in this gas, huh? Oh hey, we actually have a full map, so I... Okay, that makes things easier. Oh wait, Randy's in the team again! What the hell? And I already got your scan. Eh, 
Oh yeah, we should also ta uh, take a look at what Ling's got. Let's see. Each strength theme, Master Quartz. Oh, we boost strength, art attack, and speed at the start of fights for her. Nice. I really wish I could set up. Oh, she, she actually has Avalon Gate. That's actually kind of nuts. I do wish she actually had better lines, though. I do actually like how her Enigma cover, you can tell that she actually drew that on it herself. I mean, you can kind of see like how the ink splashed for the dot on the white part. Yeah, it is Rishia. It got revealed back in like chapter two of the first game. God. Has an instant death chance on her attack. Everyone does refer to Yin as a he, you know, probably to prevent people from figuring out who Yin was initially. You know, I guess it also makes it harder for the character, well, characters like in universe to figure out who Yin actually is. Although I'm pretty sure by this point Lloyd has figured it out. Let's see, uh, well, actually, I guess. Might as well bring, uh, get her along. Do proper formation for Tank Lloyd. I should also stay with Lloyd, I've actually gotten his agility up to, well, you can kind of see next to agility, the 100. That means he has over 100% in evasion. So you take that and you combine it with this Raging Skip Bin ability he has here. Which draws all enemies uh, he hits with it towards him. Oh! Has the ability to reflect physical attacks. Okay, that's dangerous. Uh, no. Oh, there's, uh, there's a bunch of them there. Have everyone put out as much time and mirage damage as they can. Actually, oh no, wait. Uh, try to avoid. Oh damn it! That one's too close. It'll reflect back on her and insta kill poor Tio. Oh, I haven't seen that guy. Oh, weak to space, all right. Well, that works. Yeah, I'd say they're doing just fine. As I recall, isn't that the one that basically combines all of the games? Oh, damn it. It's having dark matter on. Oh. Yeah, her lack of EP because probably all her slots aren't open is not going to help us. No, do not tame rush, that will murder us all. These guys are actually pretty weak. <laughs> There's a game's name I haven't heard in forever. No, it isn't. The the they're working on the Calvar games. Uh, Trails in Black or something like that. These are the ones that are weak to space. At least we can actually hit them with our actual attacks.
Yeah, I could have sworn there's been a Calvar game announced. Yeah, we can kill you pretty. Oh, wait. Hit the wrong button. To sell my speed up button, dang it. Let me see if I can find the name of it. Oh, so Trails to Azure is coming out in March, huh? Not. Yeah, Legend of Heroes Kuro no Kiseki. Yep. Alright, Link. Thanks for coming out, Matt. Oh, dude. Yeah, we should be fine with... Yep. And dead. This place is certainly very big. That's... Isn't that a helium? However, this thorny ivy? Looks like a different plant from the pleroma grass. Anyway, let's tend to her! Oops, looks like she came too. Oh, thank goodness. Where am I? Theo is here. Could it be heaven or something? Of course not. In fact, you crack a joke means you're com you've completely regained consciousness, haven't you? Yes, my body feels a little weak, though. Just Michelle asked you to come? Yes, actually. And they were briefly explained the events that led them there. I see. Ling and I followed a lead about cryptids in the Azure Flowers and arrived here. When well, that's game, we ended up encountering a troublesome opponent. Troublesome opponent? A cryptid, right? No, a human. Probably someone from Ouroboros. What? The one we heard about at the studio? How these skilled girls dressed like middle-aged knights accompany her. Oh, anybody who's played Cold Steel knows who this is! It took all we had just to fight them. Night girls? Them, huh? While we were fighting, I got separated from Ling. I was captured by a fool boy or something. So I couldn't move because of that ivy. Captured you and love you like that? What a manic bastard. Randy, that's not our problem here. I understand. We'll proceed to confirm Link's safety. We'll ask our member on standby to come here. Thank you very much. Take care of Ling for me. When she sees a strong opponent, she goes out of control. Understood. 
Now, looks like we don't have time to dawdle. And there's a funky magic circle there. And yet we never comment on, on any of these. Should be able to adjust. Oh wait, there's one of the jellyfish. There we go. Really gotta watch out for those guys. Seriously, enemies that reflect uh, physical attacks is just mean without showing like, I don't know, like the guard symbol above their head or something to clue the player in on that. Godling hits like a freaking freight train. Hi, <laughs> right, Fragment. A uh, boss chest. Yeah, Ling does not. I mean, Ling Yin does not have much EP. Oh yeah, most of her stuff is still locked. Oh, this is kind of mean. That space is their other weakness. Move Lloyd up to try to dry everything's fire. Oh, she doesn't have enough for Galleon Tower? Son of a bitch. Uh, something very thankful for the fact that I actually uh, set everybody up to prevent status ailments. Oh god. Why did you do that to yourself, Lazi? I could have felt good. Oh god, his counterattack does not actually trigger the reflection. Damn! No, zero feels too good as her S break. Oh, hey, they three. Hey, great, more of these plants. No. Rush Emma. Oh, that's where we get that. I swear in the pre-cult steel games, Matt, arts are so much better than crafts and damage. And she basically just one-shot that guy. Probably the version I'm getting too. Is 
Celestial Bomb Kai. I guess it's a better version of Celestial Bomb. Oh, damn it. <laughs> because of Emblem, we still got the freaking uh, surprise attack. Come on, really? Bounder. Ling, are you alright? It appears her life is not in danger, but probably used up all her energy in clats. Move aside, I'll try resuscitating her. Yeah, please. <gasps> I see, I collapsed just like that. Ling seems you know what happened. Yeah, I'm ashamed. Right, is Aeolia safe? Yes, no need to worry. I mean, they explained the event that happened up until this point. See, I'm really sorry. I still, I still lack training, huh? Never thought I'd be treated like a child like that. Talking about those night girls? No, they were tough too, but one of them was special. I wouldn't call them strong. It was more like a whole other dimension. I don't even think Arios would stand a chance. What? Whoa, something like that even possible? Could it be one of the anguish George was telling us about? A fearsome master, crowned with the name of Steel, he said. It's probably them. I'll spot a boy called Fool and a middle-aged man in a white robe. Any of the legendary assassins with you? You might not even stand a chance, you know. That's... My name is Yin, no matter the opponent. If needed, I simply crush it. You all have lost your nerve, then I'll end our cooperation here. Wait a moment, even if it's you, going alone is reckless. For now, let's contact Noelle and leave this lady with her. Will you be alright? They don't look like your common foes. Anyway, we'll pay them a visit. Well, let's take care not to go up against the steel guy. Right. That would be best. You'll know him from the bulky armor and long mantle he wears. Arios and the others are coming too, so don't do anything rash, okay? Yes, understood. Roger that. Then shall we go? Oh, I think they moved us to another area. Not surprised. Those are the usual suspects. Oh, I just realized Tio hits with magic, so she can actually hit the jellyfish fine. That's the art reduction one. Of course, both roots have a chest. I missed chest messages, damn it. Priest <laughs> dress. Yin does like over 2,000 damage with their normal attack there. Unusual... Uh, Sepeth's chest. Dang it. That worked. Seriously, they do not mess with Tio. Fight chest. Come on, really? Can we just do this fight? Alright, she doesn't have any. She doesn't have any MP anymore, so oops. Only butterflies is actually new. Killing is still killing. Yeah, she hasn't really added too much new stuff to her list. Uh, 
And here comes the smoke. Oh, she can't actually draw him away from there. Yeah. And everyone's almost to another level. Yeah, I know, it's a shame uh, that Sky hasn't gotten a re-release in quite a few years. I mean, the closest thing we have is the Steam version, which is still perfectly playable and fine, mind you. But that means non-PC users really don't have a way of experiencing that game. Oh, nice! Rising Sun leveled up. Yep, found our boss fight. This place is amazing. It looks like a vast quantity of energy is gathered here. Oh, this isn't when we fight, Arianod? I just wondered it was. I thought they might be here. This is a place is amazing. Since you stimulate this much, I guess we're just about ready. I wonder about that. Yes, yes, it's sure to be a fascinating show. If the Faceless were alive, I'm sure he'd enjoy it. No doubt. However, the professor had come to Crossbell in addition to you, Doctor. Things might have gotten out of hand. He'd have uh, brought out the Glorious and picked a fight with the major powers. Would it have, uh, wouldn't it have that been quite interesting in its own way? Oh, what's wrong, may I assume? Uh, missions at this level are too simple and boring for you. Everything is as that person wills, I have no objection. More importantly, Dr. Campanella, that's enough with your chatting. Here's we have guests. You! Seems more monster than I imagine are gathered here. It's you guys, huh? Those bracer ladies should be tied up around now, but I wonder how you were able to locate this place. Now it's a trade secret. You guys were talking about some interesting stuff, huh? We can't very well overlook it now, can we? Hmm, you're those Crossbell Police recruits, I presume? Crossbell Police Special Support Section. I suppose you're officers of the Society of Ouroboros. First, could you identify yourself for us? Identify ourselves? What is he saying? Can you be going through the formalities as a policeman? We can only think of revealing our identities to our opponents as a bad joke. You're certainly a straightforward young man, aren't you? I'm sorry I cannot comply with your request, however. It's no use, Lloyd. Looks like common sense will work with these guys. In that way, we should think of them the same way as the cult. Being lumped together with them isn't amusing in the slightest. Very well, at least introduce myself. I'm F. Novartis, sixth anguish of Ouroboros and supervisor of the third team workshop. Please feel free to call me Doctor. I see it was your doing then. You're the one who developed the mysterious code used to hack the Orbital Net. Oh, you can understand that code? That's my astral code using the society's network it. Doctor, doctor. Now you mentioned I heard there was a girl amongst the cult test subject those Epstein folks picked up. Now about it, you. Don't you want to make use of that town for Ouroboros? I refuse. Wait, they did do an update to the Sky Games? What do you mean? Oh, say just because Ren has run away, aren't you a little too desperate? Ren really doesn't have anything to do with this, you know? Then I suppose it is my turn. What a clear voice. She's wearing bulky armor, but she seems like a woman. 
He's intimidating like you wouldn't believe. I take your Ouroboros strongest warrior, huh? Indeed, you seem to possess an awesome fighting spirit, but... I wonder how much of that composure you can maintain before I yin. Hey, Yin, why did you... I do think you've got a pretty interesting lineup here, but before that, it appears that the Guardian of this place has returned. What? Guardian? Really? Dang it, Trails, where are you in my list so I can check this out? I don't see any recent, like, updates from the developer on my Steam page. Approach of Gigantic are confirmed. A large cryptid is coming. What? Where the heck is it coming from? This monster is the Sphinx Mara Cryptid. The guardian of the Divine Flower Garden made of ancient illusions, was it? Dear me, to think even something like this is materializing. Then we can expect things to go as planned as well. If they're targeting someone, target those guys! I'll we'll talk later, let's exercise it quickly! Of course, it's weak to Mirage. Eloy moving behind it to start drawing fire in that direction. Or not, dang it. Something. Probably don't want to bust out Kali into our Avalon gate with her. But you know, she doesn't have that much <laughs> MP. She can at least dark matter. Missed. That only did two thousand damage. Okay, hopefully, you can try to draw some fire in that direction. Some good damage. Of course, it's got a big AoE attack. Is it? It's not immune to that. Okay, but she does not have Calamity Claw. Even offline games need uh, fixes too. And start build haloing. Oh! Dick move. As you can get several turns in a row here. Add some freaking debuffs to it for damage. <laughs> rush apparently work. Uh, rush tiles actually work with <laughs> supports. And he doesn't have any EP anymore. Dang it. Now we need to analyze it. 
There we go. Full debuffs up, and we also need to despeed it again. There we go. Oh no, damn it. Oh wait! Okay, that one can miss. Actually... Might as well burst! to get a level. Yeah, I just got mine in the mail today, too. I haven't had a chance to play it, though. We beat it somehow. <laughs> You're quite good. I guess they're pretty good for amateurs. Also, it seems that Orbal staff the Foundation folks made is pretty far along. Damn you. Our boss answer is still ready. What are you trying to do in the line of crossbell? Help I'm wrong. That was you remanufactured Gnosis, wasn't it? Eh? That delinquent leader who demonized, huh? Watch it too. It's quite the show, was it? If he had just gone a little further, I could have invited him into Ouroboros, though. Don't dodge the question. Answer me. I can understand why you all think that, but in the end, we all came only to see how the plan is progressing. The degree of simulation of the Septi invade and the timing of the promised day. The promised day? How vague can you get? That's all they're going to tell us. Starting now, we'll use force to loosen their tongues. Yin, no other path is there. Oh my, I guess taking on all of you would be too much even for me. Can I leave this to you? I suppose there is no choice. A spear? Looks like a lance used by middle-aged knights. Whoa, what are you doing bringing out an antique like that? <laughs> Incoming! No way! She lets tens of, tens of super high speed thrusts that quickly, huh? I believe that isn't something a human can do. Who do you think there's somebody who couldn't resist the Steel Maiden's lance? Looks like you aren't called the Demon of Eastern Quarter for nothing. Very good reflexes, however, compared to your predecessor, it appears you still have some doubts. Huh? What? Rishia? Amazing, so you were altering your presence. This is hilarious to think Yin's true identity is that of Rishia Mao, the Arkansas co-star. Isn't that quite the amusing drama? No, well, Norius, everyone else too. You came for us. Those guys are the snake guys, huh? Dokes, Campanelga, Sorani, Jusan Kobo no Kandisani, Hangane no Sejoka. Oh, is, is that the one, the Divine Blade of Wind, perhaps? Seems his skills are a match for Lowe's. Divine Blade of Wind, I suppose, is the first time we face one another. I see, your skills are as magnificent as the rumors say. Enough with the flattery, I can't accept it until I surpass human li limits as you have. Or that Lance or even an army would have no choice but to retreat. Hm, you are quite something even just for having seen through that. Arios? You don't mean we're letting them go? No, however, we're at a disadvantage here. The ones Ling and Aeolia fought! They have no openings at all? 
Enough, there's no need to taunt them there. Sir! Understood. As the master wishes. Looks like it's about time. I was able to confirm the plan's progression and the Septian Vein status. It's about time I get back to the finishing touches as well. Wait! As you might imagine, can't let you get away like this. I will give you one warning in regards to the plan. We have nothing more than a mere supporting role. Huh? What? In time, the beast will be released and Chaos will visit this land. Even so, take care not to be swallowed up by the tragedy that unfolds before you. Then have a nice day! Please look forward to our next encounter! Our pores are one hell of a bunch! Risha? Risha? Unbelievable things have been happening one after the next. Feels like this can't be real. Yeah, almost feels like I'm dreaming. Maybe we really are. There's Wall too. I think this is some kind of nightmare, though. No, this is. Arios. Ouroboros left us more clues than I thought they would. This meaning of this place. And also, in time, Beast will be released. Maybe we have no time to stay dumbfounded. Right. Beast can't be. That's right, I guess we'll always do reach here, don't they? Barely, I think. Yeah, special support section banning speaking. Uh, yes? Uh, many things happen. We're with Arios and the others. Perfect timing then. Tell them all too, since they're there. All members of Red Constellation have disappeared from the city. What? I'd like to talk with Orlando if possible. Could you come back immediately? Understood. What's wrong? You were quite flustered. Yeah. Can I briefly explain the intel from Dudley? That's... Red Constellation has. Oh, we're keeping tabs on them too. Boyd, you all hurry and return to the city. We'll return after investigating this place. Sorry, thanks for doing that for us. Thanks. We're all the same in times like these. It'll probably take us a little longer because of Ling and Aeolia. Red Constellation has acted. Heiyue should have acted as well. I'll be back as soon as we can. You all should be careful. Right! Then excuse us! And believe it, to think the instrument identity was Rishia. I was sure he was a man this whole time. Seems she can change her presence when she is in that form. It's possible that she's changing the shape of her body as well. Is that something a normal human can do? Seems like we've run, uh, been running into people who are anything but normal lately. It's possible that our mental stress during these times played a role too, but you're not surprised as I thought you'd be. No, I'm not. I had a chance to speak with Rishia not too long ago. Ever since I was little, I lived for that reason. The, p the path my ancestors have inherited for as long as anyone can remember. Now I do not know the reason I walked this path. Thought it couldn't be and never thought anything more about it, but somehow I never really threw away the possibility that she could be in. I see. Ah, uh, thinking about it, there's no way an amateur could be selected as our concealed co-star. Yeah, a story about being forced into it by Ilya and given intensive training was oddly persuasive, though. And the time when Yin appeared and the time Rishi arrived in Crossbell are almost exactly the same. I wonder if Sao and his men in Heiyue know her real identity. Well, given her position, it'd be normal to keep that secret. If they knew, nothing good would come of it. Given that, it might be best if we keep her identity a secret too. Yeah, Chief Asai, let's wait and see for a while. Right now, Red Constellation takes priority over Heiyue. Yeah, Uncle and the others have disappeared. They're acting as if their preparations are complete. Probably strike without warning. Right. Looks like I need to contact Com Commander Sonia as well.
And this whole building seems to be cursed, isn't it? Kitaka. We finally arrived. Sorry, we were a little busy. Can you tell us the situation? Like I told you, there's no one left inside the building. We believe there was among a hundred members coming and going, but things they went through the geo front and made themselves scarce. With the geo front? However, there shouldn't have been any such path. Bears they use explosives to force their way in. The secret path ex exiting at B Division Lower Stratum was discovered. They did that? Oh man, what crazy guys. Oh, trust me, it gets even crazier. <laughs> That's not all. They remodeled most of the old warehouse Ravash used for smuggling into a full-blown training and maintenance facility for handling heavy weapons. How long can the others do, uh, uh, do something like that without batting an eye? After all, the whole lot of them are battle crazies. Want to keep their senses sharp to be ready for battle any time. I see. Orlando, I'll be direct. Is their objective Heiyue or terrorism at the station or airport? Really don't know, but if they were aiming at Heiyue, they'd never vanish from here like that. The station in the airport, too. They could have occupied them easily. I say it's likely they're playing something way crazier. And that means, don't tell me they intend to occupy Orcus Tower. That's possible, but but maybe that's not really their style. Style, you say? Jaeger can really shine in open battle or guerrilla warfare. In other words, they like to battle on complex terrain where they can toy with a regular army. The urban areas are mountainous areas with lots of peaks and valleys. That's true, vehicle movement would also be restricted. In that case, it's Del Lee, Section 1. Gee, thank you for your hard work. What did? Oh. What the? With this timing. Dudley, what in the world? It's the CGF. An unidentified armed group has appeared on Main's mountain path. You and on patrol seems to have been wiped out. This is HQ, message for third company. Iron Group's goal is unknown. How you possible? It's the Ray Constellation Jaeger Corps that was hiding in the city. Safety of the main citizen is your pro top priority. Their company, roger that. As for the armed group, we'll... An horrible mine? Damn, old personnel, battle stations! Yes, it's been three months since my last battle. Looks like I'll finally be able to satisfy my Testarossa. Who the heck are they? To start sweeping operation first, let's push them up to the tunnel. You can slaughter all those who strike back. Yeah! Yeah, them some dead bodies there. I swear the older games were way more, uh, how do I put it? Hardcore than Cold Steel? I mean, did we ever really see anybody die on screen in Cold Steel? Yet, what do we do? Right, standing firm here is annoying, so I'll go have a little fun. Follow me, okay? Yeah. Follow the captain. Now then, Tess Rosa, there's still a lot of prey left, you know. Let's have tons of fun together. Even before freaking Gears of War, Shirley was wielding a chainsaw rifle. <laughs> I 
Are you blowing the vehicle? It's useless. <laughs> A monster? They made a motion cold steel, they had it happen off screen, and you just see the aftermath at most. I never thought one group of Jaegers could cause something so appalling. There must be something one behind all of this. Same as with the trade conference. The Erebonian Imperial Government. No, to be specific, the Imperial Army Intelligence Division. Can't help but say it's highly likely. Even Crossbell, Intelligence Division officer, kept in contact with Ray Constellation. If it's like this, then do we have any other choice but to beg the Imperial Government for mercy, or otherwise beg the Imper Republican Government to be our ally? I already asked the Imperial Government earlier today. The response was obvious. We don't know anything about it, they said. Although this is my responsibility ever since the independence proposal, the situation has been such that I cannot ask the Republican assistance either. No way. No, it's not your fault at all, Mr. Mayor. At any rate, as things are, even as the state government, we can only issue a formal declaration of protest. Still, in any case, I'm worried about the main citizen's safety. After requesting a civilian airship, we were able to confirm the situation from the skies. At present, there's no sign of pillaging. However, the fact that the main, uh, main citizens are being held hostage hasn't changed. Worried about their food reserves. Can't drag on for too long. Of course, let's take immediate countermeasures. How bad was the damage of the CGF? Not to say it was enormous in terms of both personnel and material. At present, all of our spare assets are deployed on the mountain path. I see. Aramis are combat professionals, but at the end of the day, they are a group that works for Mira. Heading on out negotiations and go, it's, well, we may be able to avoid any further disaster. Want the police to look for such a possibility and quell the citizens' anxiety at the same time. Roger. At once! I guess I'll contact the guild and try everything we can. Chief sure is late. It's understandable after what happened, but... Yes. Probably discussing countermeasures at Orcus Tower around now. It's also a complex problem on a political level. Well, too, he did such a crazy thing at this difficult time. Hey, everyone, the Chief isn't coming back. Should we call off the hot pot? No, he said to go ahead and begin if he was late. Kido, you did all the work to prepare for us, and we'll go on eating if, even if it's just us. But... Randy... Think aside the hot pot. Randy, aren't you pushing yourself, especially in times like this, that you gotta rely on? Of course, I'm counting on ya. I said it before too, but I severed my ties with Uncle and the others. Just can't stand what they've been doing these days. More importantly, let's eat our meal and rest while we can. Preparing for tomorrow comes first, right? Well, that's right. You can't fight on an empty stomach, they say. Your toughness always helps us out, Randy. Indeed. Well, we came across one hell of a bunch at the lake today, too. Finishing our meal and turning in early might help us out tomorrow. Right. Alright then, let's start on the hot pot. He had prepared it for after all... Also, there's plenty of meat, fish, and vegetables. Let's eat a lot, go to bed early, and get ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Bon appetit. Kill the rest of us and eat up, okay? Yep. Sight, I'll cook some meat and fish for you later. Growl, wolf. to sleep and well oh my god and why the heck are you up this late at night I went to hang out for a bit at my favorite bar well my personality being what it is I'm not really bothered by it but don't you think the others will get angry 
Probably. Now, this is my problem. It's got nothing to do with Uncle and Shirley. It ain't nothing of it being all right to involve Lloyd and the others. I'm going out to, to conclude things properly myself. That's just how it is. Well, whatever. Both you and Wald. All men are idi idiots, aren't they? Why do you have to be so antisocial like that? Leave me alone, will you? Anyway, you. Been wanting to ask you for a while. Seriously, whose side are you on? I have no idea what you're talking about, although I think your other guess was right. I see. Though you seem like those guys I fought lots of times way back when. Pretend to meet that girl for the first time too, huh? I wonder. Thanks for keeping your silence. I'll pretend to know nothing tomorrow morning. You can go wild to your heart's content. Yeah, I owe you one. Without him, I guess I'm a little worried about our combat strength. Thing in the situation, maybe I'll have Abyss follow him. Shit! I'll sell things once and for all. See ya, Randy. No way! Just leaving a note like this. He completely fooled us with his words yesterday, huh? Damn, he even left his enigma. Randy. No good, the people in the area haven't seen him. Probably went out late at night when there were no people around then. Where could he have? Left to settle things once and for all. Could it be referring to the mains area? Yeah, it's likely. And a communication from the CGF deployed on the mountain path could er... That's unlikely. Chief? And cleaned up his usual mess and left. Has a CGF too, but they haven't spotted him. If he is headed for Maine, he's probably not using any kind of normal route. Despite appearances, he's a formal veteran Jaeger. Receiving a regular army, he can do as much as he likes. Well, I thought he relied on us at least a little. Well, I guess all we can do is wait and see for a while, huh? We're nowhere near as skilled as Jaegers with mountain combat operations. Maybe chase after him, I don't think we'd find any clues. No. Huh? Most likely Randy didn't go to Maine's last night. It's even possible he's still in Crossbell City. What? How do you know? It's simple. If Randy is seriously trying to take up arms or something against Red Constellation, do you think he'd be able to do anything with his current stun halberd? You have a point. No matter how you think about it, that would be irrational. There was that weapon he used to use in his Jaeger days. Game that would come first. Thinking about his personal history, it's no surprise he's used to heavy weapons with a lot of firepower. Get your hands on weapons like that in the city is impossible in the slightest. It's also possible that he was keeping a special weapon near it somewhere. I see. If he visited places in the city he likely visited, we might be able to find where Randy has gone. Indeed, seems worth looking into. Yeah, I think so too. Wazzy, well, do you think I'm off the mark? No, <laughs> I was just thinking it's unexpected. Well, why not? That's what I thought while I was listening. So, if he stopped by somewhere, could it be a shady place in the city? Right, downtown might be the shadiest place in the city. Ashley of the exchange shop deals in weapons under the table. Master Guillaum seems knowledgeable in every weapons too, somehow. Hunter Drake of the casino may know something as well. Means Randy was always going there to enjoy himself. You're right. Also, if I remember correctly, hasn't Randy known him ever since he came to Crossbell? I almost feel bad for him. Try to throw you off, but you guys are going to catch him in the blink of an eye. Certainly. Of course. As a leader as well, I can't forgive his such full selfishness. We'll find him and bring him back for sure. Naturally. Yes, we'll bring him back even if we tie a rope around his neck. Is Randy going to be okay? Yeah, we'll definitely bring him back. Yes, you don't need to worry about anything. Kia, please watch the place with Zeit. Okay. All right, guys, be very careful, okay? Well then, seems the casino and the entertainment district and the two stores in downtown, right? There could be clues in other places too, but for now we don't have time to go outside the city. Luckily this morning we didn't receive any new support requests. Probably due to what happened yesterday, even HQ is still in chaos. Here's that the CGF received considerable damage too. I'm sorry, considering your position we shouldn't think of it as someone else's problem. No, it's our duty as CGF to be ready for dangers like this. At least for the time being I am a support section member after all. Let's go to catch Randy! Yeah! 
And first we can go feed the kitty. I think we'll call it here because, oh boy, do we have quite a bit to go through uh, for this day. Oh, let's... Come on, feed the cat. Uh, sure, try this. Not bad. All right. So we'll save it here, and tomorrow... Well, I guess we do get to do the Chapter 3 finale. And, who oh boy, it's gonna be one hell of a finale. So, see y'all later.